and with us taking a live look outside on the Corwin Auto.com Valley Sky Cam. The camera jumping around just a little bit. We've got some gusty south winds out there, some partly sunny skies, and at this hour, some very warm temperatures despite some early morning rain. Current temperature 80 degrees. It feels more like 81 over in Moorhead, 79 degrees there, and there are those winds out of the south. 18 miles per hour. They'll continue 10 to 20 miles per hour. Some stronger gusts shifting to the northwest behind a cool front later on today. Some temperatures elsewhere across the region. 82 up in Grand Forks, 85 down in Sisseton. Some 70s off towards the east. 77 Fergus Falls, 79 Detroit Lakes, and still a cool 69 degree temperature over in Bemidji. On the radar, most of us have cleared out from the uh, isolated showers and storms we had earlier. Those continue to slide off towards the south and the southeast and yeah, we're going to continue to see those dissipate as we head through the next couple of hours. More storms will fire as we head through this afternoon and this evening, primarily uh, south of a line from, say, oh, Bemidji towards the Detroit Lakes, uh, just north of the Assistant area, maybe over towards the Ellendale area. We'll see more storms fire later on this afternoon. One or two of those could be strong and perhaps severe. There are those showers, also more rain oh, making its way through northern Minnesota. Some rain showers and thunderstorms up in parts of southern Canada. Elsewhere, across much of the country, relatively quiet. Some showers and storms likely for parts of the northeast. Some of that may be severe for those folks. Across the southeast, a few showers and storms. One severe storm in Georgia. And some good news out in California. Remnants of a hurricane. The moisture from that continues to make its way into California, giving those folks some much needed rain. For us, we've seen some rain. We've seen a lot of rain this spring. And we're going to see a little bit more as we head through this afternoon this evening. We're also going to see quite a bit of heat warming up into the low 90s in many locations. And again, just a very slight chance for a shower or a thunderstorm in our far southern counties. One or two of those could be on the strong side. Tonight, mostly clear skies. We'll see temperatures dropping off into the 50s in most locations. And tomorrow, another warm day. Not as warm as today. And once again, we'll see a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms. As we head through the day today, there is a slight risk. And again, it's our far southern counties that have that risk for some large hail and perhaps some damaging wind. We'll continue to monitor that as we head through the rest of the day. As we head through the rest of the week, we're going to see some nice temperatures. Today, hot. If you are spending lots of time outdoors, make sure you're using plenty of sunscreen and drinking plenty of water tomorrow. Not as warm. That chance for an isolated shower or a thunderstorm not out of the question as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. And it's that time of year. We're pretty much going to have a chance for a shower or a storm just about every day. Right now, it looks like the best chance shows up on Sunday. High temperatures after today in the 70s and 80s. So it's going to be a hot one out there. Do take care and make sure you're remembering the four-legged friends. Make sure they've got plenty of fresh water and some shade. Do you want to take yard. a long lunch break and go to the pool with me today? I have to work today. Ah, yeah. Work. Hmm. Gets you in enjoy the way. that. Straight ahead here at